Good day. Welcome to Partakers Friday Prayers. Let's pray together. Father, as we commence, let our hearts and minds be right before you. We thank you for your Son, Jesus. And it's in his name we offer you these praises, prayers and petitions in the power of the Holy Spirit who lives inside those who are your children. Amen. We now come to a prayer of confession of our sins. Let's now have a short time of silence on which to reflect upon our lives and then we will say a general confession together. Heavenly Father, you have loved us with an everlasting love, but we have gone our own way and broken your laws. We are sorry for our sins and turn away from them. For the sake of your Son who died for us, forgive us, cleanse us, and change us. By your Holy Spirit, enable us to live for you and to please you more and more. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Knowing our God forgives our sins, let's now have a psalm of praise. It's taken from Psalm 65 and it's read by Tracy and Trina. Over to you, Tracy and Trina. Psalm 65 Our God, you deserve praise in Zion, where we keep our promises to you. Everyone will come to you because you answer prayer. Our terrible sins get us down, but you forgive us. You bless your chosen ones, and you invite them to live near you in your temple. We will enjoy your house, the sacred temple. Our God, you save us, and your fearsome deeds answer our prayers for justice. You give hope to people everywhere on earth, even those across the sea. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Christ has risen. The Spirit has come. Praise you, God. Amen. We now pray for church services around the world this weekend. Our Father God, we lift before you all those who are preaching, leading, serving and participating in church services around the world this weekend, both up front and in the congregation. We ask that the Holy Spirit would guide their minds and that the worship would be in spirit and in truth and that your word is faithfully preached. For those in countries where to meet other Christians is illegal or not condoned by the government, we ask that you continue to strengthen, guide, uplift and grow them. Let them know through your spirit, the spirit that lives within all believers, that we are praying for them. Amen. We come now to praying for the needs of these individuals who are suffering due to medical conditions. Pat Elsie, Karen, Joy, Ruth, Jessica and Bianca, Kathy, Nev, Sandy, Paula, Selena, Samantha, Lynn, Millie, Sarah and her children Tristan and Max, Eddie and Francis. We lift to you especially Ray's wife who after seeing many consultants has now been correctly diagnosed. O oh, great God, our provider, we ask for a healing touch and wisdom for the medical staff treating all these people. O oh, Lord God, give strength to the weak. Now, Father, we lift before you all those facing challenging situations such as loneliness, confinement at home, geographical isolation, lack of employment, health issues and financial pressures. O oh, Father, please meet their needs in whatever challenging situation is being faced, particularly for C and her daughter, and we put ourselves in your hands to help meet those needs where we can. And Father, we also pray that you will give strength to the weak, particularly for Sarah. We ask these things, our Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now there will be a short time of prayer where you can give to God things that are on your own mind and heart. And if, for some reason, words are failing you, 
then pray this short prayer based on Psalm 40. O God, help and deliver me from this pit, for I am poor and needy. Let's continue praying. Father, we pray that your love will take over our lives. We also pray that we would follow you faithfully, live lives obedient to you, and give praise to you alone in all circumstances we face. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. We come now to pray for this world. Father, we lift this world to you, a world crying out for its redemption. We lift particularly Barack Obama, the President of the USA, Stephen Harper, the President of Canada, David Cameron, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Julia Gillard, the Prime Minister of Australia, and Haley Barbour, the Governor of Mississippi. Help them to govern with justice, mercy and wisdom, and remind them that they are only in a position of power because you allow them to be. We lift to you once more, Father, the people affected in the Horn of Africa who are fleeing drought, famine and conflict. Help those people, Father, and hear both their audible and silent cries for help. We ask specifically, O gracious Father, to help the aid being sent to reach its destination instead of being stopped by insurgents and warmongers. Father, be the strength for all those who are grieving and mourning the loss of loved ones. Father, we pray that those in despair will be helped, and where there is darkness, there will be light. May justice and peace come to places where injustice, strife and conflict currently dominate. Where there is chaos, bring order. Where there is hatred, may love be sown. We pray that in areas of need following natural disasters, that aid will get through and infrastructure rebuilt. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. And now as we close, here is a prayer of Benedict of Nursia, as said by Bryony. O gracious and holy Father, give us wisdom to perceive you, diligence to seek you, patience to wait for you, eyes to to behold you, a heart to meditate upon you, and a life to proclaim you, through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us on Partakers Friday Prayers. See you again soon.